Now it's a day later after I've cleared and I want to show you what the spray can clear looks like and this has been drying for oh a week and I've got a couple of bad spots with a little bit of checking on there that I'm going to fix now normally I wouldn't have cleared or uh, paid for the clear clear coat because like I said it's it's eighty dollars you know a can to just to get started and then you have to have everything else but I want to show you how it turned out this is this is a piece that had a bunch of checking up by the DO emblem and It really it just feels good it really feels good here is um, the oil indicator right here and look at that look at that clear it, it, that clear is just that's two coats and I, I've got a little bit of work to do on getting it in shape there was a little bit of checking right here from the last um, clear coat but I'm going to sand that down a little bit and I'm going to give all these another coat. I want to kind of get a look at it. This here is, I was going to, to sand this. Uh, I was just about ready to polish it and I decided, well, hell, I'll just take it out and I'll take it out and um, shoot it. And I had a little tiny bit of fish eyes in the coat for some reason is probably because I had some of that um, wax residue on there but I'm going to sand this down with 1200 grit right here or 2000 and go at it again and on this one I mean it turned out I this these were handheld and it was really windy and I know my I've got black paint all over everything I'm lucky it's not Imron. If this was Imron paint, okay, Imron's aircraft paint, you, it, it doesn't, when it dries, it doesn't wear, it doesn't come off with anything, it wears off. That's it. But what I want to do is get enough clear on here to, on the label sticker, so that you can't distinguish the sticker from the, the, the piece. And this is the, uh, one of the under, the under piece that goes, goes right over here. And I got a, I got a couple of little runs on it, things like that. It, it goes it goes up in here like this, and it's going to look at. I I I had to mask off these stickers because I didn't know if I could get them replaced, and I still have some fine tuning to do on the clear, but I'm really impressed with it. It's it's uh. And it's dry because I got some on my my arms here, and I can really feel it. It's uh, the chemical drying in it is uh, really nice, and you we can you can see the difference here between the spray job compared to the rear fender here. Just the quality of the urethane. Now. Since I usually don't spray things with my guns that much anymore, now that I've gotten my first couple of coats on there, I kind of got a feel for it. So I'll sand down half a coat, get it just bitch smooth, and I will uh, put on probably another two coats, sand it down, and Then, then I'll polish it. I'll even, even on the um, the back pack and the back uh, um, the head tail light or the deal that goes up here. Um, that's already done. I'm going to take that and clean it up really good. Put a little scuff on it, and I'm going to shoot it again. I'm going to take this off, and I'll sand it down just a little bit. And I'm going to shoot. Uh, 
I'm going to shoot this with the with the urethane. I'm I'm real just really impressed. I shouldn't have shot it when it when we had all that wind out there. I got a little problem right here, but that's all right. I can fix that. I shouldn't have shot it with the, with the wind, but once you get started on it, you just have to keep going. You can't. It'd be nice to have a a garage or uh, some place like my last shop to do it in. But you got to just do what you can do. And I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. With this oil indicator, what I did, this did not have any kind of paint in it at all. What I did was I s sprayed clear on it a couple times. Then I used a um, white nail polish, like a brush, and brushed it in white and then let it dry. And then I uh, sanded it down. And it worked, it worked out pretty good. This is where the key keyhole goes. So this area in here's probably got it's got to be uh, pretty tough coated. But that's um, how um, urethane clear works, and it dries really well. Oh, there's one last thing I want to show on this right here. If you, I don't know if you can see it. I put a little bit too much clear on there, and you can see where it's it dripped right there. And that drip, if you if you feel it, it's just like a, a really hard rubber ball. So that uh, that clear worked out really good, really good. Okay, I'll post this.